So before I go out for a beer, <laughs> you've, you've got something to tell the audience. You came back from Vietnam, what have you registered for? The Noosa Try. The Noosa Try. And what does that mean? You're going to buy your first what? Uh, and you bought my it, first haven't you? first swimsuit. No. First swimsuit, yeah. <laughs> I, I bought a bike. No, I bought a frame. Well, no, we've actually got all the bits and pieces on it. What have you got? Tarmac. Specialised tarmac expert. Yeah, what colour is it? It's grey and hot pink and black. Very exciting. And you got a power meter as well. Power meter, they didn't want to put the spokey dokies and streamers or the basket on it. So. Yeah. You're excited? Yeah. I'm um, excited for you. Are you? Because when I asked you if you would help train me, I got kind of like a, like there was fear in your eyes, I think. Thinking of our F45 marriage. experience. Yeah, look, we, I might. I'm going to do really well, but we might get a divorce. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So a little bit of drone footage there. I'm currently, I'm working on my camera skills. I mean, I'm always working on them and a lot of other things behind the scenes on this channel, but really trying to put a focus on, you know, getting a better understanding, an intimate understanding of the settings. And by doing that, I'm gonna shoot better footage. And I wanted to share that with you because in this video, what I wanted to do is give you a bit of a channel update, bit of behind the scenes, what's going on. What am I thinking? We're going to split it up into three parts. The first part is, okay, what's the plan content? Now, I know I touched on this a little bit in an update on my road bike reviews. So I'm not going to talk specific about that. If you want that detail, I'll link to that video below. Number two, I've been working on an online course, like a cycling fundamentals with a cycling coach of mine, David Sturt. So I want to share with you what's going on there. And lastly, this will be the Probably the last time, or not probably, definitely the last time I do this type of update on the channel, I'm going to move it over to a Patreon account. So the third part of this video, I want to share with you why I've set that up and what sort of value I think it will deliver. So the number one part of this video is, okay, planned content now. Road bike reviews, as I said, always going to be a cornerstone of this channel. I really enjoy doing them. They synergize nicely with Bike Chaser. They enable me to discover new subscribers on the channel. So that will always be there. The other major parts to the channel, there's probably four other major parts. There's entertaining cycling stories, inspirational cycling stories. There's biohacking for improved performance on the bike. And look, I'll always do that because I have a passion for that. And the last one is a bit of vlogging. So, you know, that could be by series to win A grade or riding around Noosa, etc. So here's the thing, I sort of look at the analytics, right? So it's not just about views, it's about engagement, so likes and comments, dislikes, watch time, that kind of thing. And the entertaining and inspirational cycling stories, like I enjoy them and I'm, I'm not gonna rule them out, but I do question how much I focus on them because right now I kind of split everything up. You sort of get a review, an inspirational story, maybe an entertaining one and then there'll be maybe a vlogging style, just riding around. And the thing that I've sort of recognized is, while I enjoy sharing some of the stories, I think about riding out to the Australian Cycling Academy with Ben Kirsten, or, you know, going and seeing Inform. You know, those videos, they don't tend to perform so well. And I wonder, like, do I, do I continue to focus on them? Like, I still want to continue to do them, but, is the channel better off where I focus my attention elsewhere? Not doing things I don't like, because I like doing all of these things, but it's interesting, I kind of look at the analytics of just the general riding stuff that I do around Noosa, whether it be talking about the crit pig, 
or whether it be riding the beautiful Sunshine Coast or riding the Criterion track, like these pieces get a lot more engagement and more views and it's sort of making me question, do I do a little bit more of that over the inspirational and entertaining cycling stories? So I'm not saying I'm gonna stop one or the other, more so just letting you know that I'm sort of putting some thought to this. So the second part of this video is I wanted to share with you behind the scenes I've been working on a online course for people out there that have either just started to get into road cycling or perhaps have been road cycling for a while like I had been at the time and they want to improve. So what I've done is you know, a lot of people reach out to me on this channel. It's only small and we've only really just gotten started but I do get a lot of people saying can you give me some advice on training or tips around the bike etc. And I certainly can, but I don't have the credibility of somebody who's been coaching, say, for 10 years, who's taking young athletes to the pro peloton or are taking middle-aged athletes to win Masters events. And that person's David Sturt, my cycling coach, and I invited him up to the Sunshine Coast. He stayed with me. Wife and kids were away in Melbourne last weekend. He was here for three days, and we spent the whole day, or not the whole day, sorry, the whole weekend, three days, worth of shooting we've done podcasts we've done whiteboard sessions we've done like you name it we've done it and i'm going to put it into it's a five course tutorial enabling people to become smarter on the bike you're going to learn better handling skills learn more about the bike you're going to learn how to train properly and you will become stronger so i've put that together as a value add for people out there that don't want to necessarily get coached but they want to improve. Love you. Okay, little spiz. Okay. You sure you don't want to drink water or something? Peppermint tea? You want peppermint tea? Honey? So it's been one of those days today when you've got kids things just happen and this morning I was supposed to finish shooting this video but uh, I got a call from the wife and said you need to get home immediately because I'm taking Holly to school and Ruby's staying home she's unwell which you saw earlier she's feeling a lot better now as one of those 24 hour things I think so I thought I'd finish off this video out by the pool having one of my favorite Tui's old dark ales and talk to you about the third part of this video which is why I'm setting up the Patreon account. So there are two reasons why I'm setting up this Patreon account. Number one, from the research that I've done online and I've done a fair bit of it, my understanding is there will be some people out there that want more from this channel. And what I mean by that is, you know, more content, more behind the scenes, etc. Now, I've started to do some of that on this channel, but there's probably a number of people out there that are indifferent whether they see it or not. Some people don't watch the videos, but there will be a small portion that enjoy okay what's happening behind the scenes so the first thing i'm going to do in terms of content over there is a monthly update okay where's my head out what am i thinking get feedback from my pa patrons and number two is do a full quarterly update on the channel and once again get, get feedback from my patrons to help me drive the direction of the channel so i'm really keen on that the second part will be some exclusive content. So quite often I have discussions with bike brands or manufacturers when I'm preparing these reviews and normally I'll just use parts of them for the review and then discard it afterwards. But there's a lot of value to be had and a great example is a video that's currently on the Patreon account and that is a conversation I had with a product expert at Specialized. So I'm currently preparing for a video, a $2,500 road bike versus a $10,000 this is USD dollar road bike what's the difference and we're talking about the tarmac entry level versus the top level now I'm going to use snippets from that conversation in the video I put on YouTube but the actual conversation that I have with the specialized expert it's 35 40 minutes pretty interesting conversation so I'm going to put that type of content over on patreon as well so that's the second part so channel updates exclusive content and the third thing I'm going to put over there is I'm starting to get some brands reach out to me wanting to do some work together. Not so much paid work because I don't really want to do that on this channel because I don't want to be directed and be told what to do in terms of brand deals. But I am getting brands say, hey, would you be interested in reviewing this? 
if you are, which an example was the ketone drink. I did some research, I tried it myself, and I said, I would be happy to do a review on this product. We'll, give a, we'll do a giveaway, which I did on the YouTube channel, but moving forward, I'll do a giveaway on to my Patreons. So an example is I've got a, a cycling book that I'm reading now. I've got one of those to give away from the publisher. Next up, I've got some of the um, glasses, cycling glasses that I wear, the Sun God Pace makers pace breakers pace breakers i think i'm going to do a giveaway and that'll go to my patrons as well so we're going to do giveaways there as well and sort of in that when i start making merchandise in the next six to three months i'll be giving a discount to people that are patrons as well so i've set that up i've done one tier i've kept it simple it's ten dollars aud which is seven dollars usd at the moment and that's it no other tiers despite what everyone tells you despite what the patreon um, executives tell you to do I think it's just easy to do one tier and it's doable right I'm already sort of delivering this stuff over on my YouTube it's not going to cause extra stuff that I need to do that you might be concerned that I'm not going to be able to deliver I'm just going to do it over there so I'll link to that below I'm not expecting it to explode if I get one two or three up front that's great but I'll continue to grow and reference it moving forward now the reason the other reason so that's the number one reason why I've set it up the second reason is you know, I want to start reinvesting back into the channel. I want to buy better video equipment. I want to utilize external resources to help me film certain footage. And I can't really justify that because on the other side of the fence, I've got Bike Chaser, which is bootstrapping as well. So the ability to invest in the channel, you know, this, once it grows, this Patreon and other things that I'm offering, such as the, the training course that I mentioned earlier, is really going to help me create improved and more consistent content on this channel which i'm really keen to do so that's pretty much it my next video really looking forward to this one it's the shram one by i'm actually sold on one by even though i was highly skeptical before i put it on the bike so that review is coming early next week and i hope to catch you in that video